You know, we all have guilty pleasures. For instance, I love birds, Scientology, people with no personality, and shitty Japanese import games. The Eternal City is fast becoming a blazing ruin! This isn't a movie! This is real! This is reality! Which brings up what has to be one of the worst, greatest animes ever! With Gein Saga. She will be defiled! <laughs> yeah, it's one of those animes. <laughs> The story takes place in the world of high stagnant people with huge eyes. We follow our heroes of bland, annoying, abomination, and king from Tekken. What have you done? Stand aside. I have cut off the girly woman inside of me. What makes Gein Saga a work of pure masterpiece? Well, it could be its unintentional 90s anime level of bad voice acting. Do you think they'd like that? I'm sure of it. And Don't say it! He's 14. Do you think I can lay hands on a 14-year-old? Wait, there's Miel. I am sorry, forgive me, father, but I want to leave the kingdom in his hands. Um, princess, about that, um, we just got word. Lord Meow has been assassinated. <gasps> I know. All right, Mr. Delio, and the strip is right in front of you. No, don't kill him! My father's all I have left! Please, no! No, 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 that's a little too much emotion, Wait, De Leon. A little too much emotion? Pretend you don't give a fuck. Um, okay. Like us. No, don't look at my father. He's all I have left. More bored. <laughs> now talk like a robot. So you want me to sound like a robot? Okay. No, don't get my father. He's all I have left. That was perfect. No! Now what about the story you ask? Trust me, much like everything about this anime scaling from the lazy animation, the horrid voice acting, the stunningly moronic characters, and the supposed forced in epic atmosphere, everything is poorly executed. I have loved this country for longer than I have known true love itself. And furthermore, I have loved your love more than anyone could love eternal love like this love. Now it's not like I hate this anime, I really don't. Actually, I look at Ginsug as the perfect product of a guilty pleasure. No! The characters are all either stupid, annoying, hypocrites, weak wheeled, bitchy, bipolar, and just unlikable. Though it is how poor these characters interact with everything that makes them enjoyable in the form of irony. The music actually is really damn good. It makes it seem like epic stuff is happening, despite the fact that there's nothing fucking happening! I can no longer see anything else. You. Me. Me and you. Almost every character is a one-hit trick pony with illogically retarded goals and characteristics. If this was cheesy like the 90s animes, I would give it a pass, but even though it's based on a novel which was published in 1979, this anime is still a product of the 21st century. And with basically no effort being given in, there's absolutely no excuse for how poor this anime is. Everything is so poorly done, but hilariously bad at the same time that watching Gate Saga is actually a great experience to have, not just alone, but with your friends. I highly recommend that you watch it with your friends and you're gonna have a blast. No, really, go watch Gate Saga and see what has to be the most asinantly funny bad show you're ever gonna see, ever! We here give it a 1 out of 5. No, this is stupid! Too much emotion. No, this is stupid. No, no, no. This was really stupid. 